Hello everybody, it's Danny back from Deep South Homestead. The day has finally arrived. We have waited and waited and waited. And finally, the Razzmatazz has showed up. It, uh, it's been ordered for quite a while now, and I'm guessing probably the weather may have played a part in it. But in the Deep South, planting time for us will be over with here in the next few weeks. And I was getting a little concerned. But the Razzmatazz is a new... Uh, it's a new seedless muscadine. They call it a grape. They call it the Razzmatazz grape. It's actually a seedless muscadine that uh, has been patented and grown. It's not GMO. It's a. Uh, it's it's this this man in the, he, he he created this thing. It's a muscadine that does not have any seeds in it, and I just love muscadines. And I'm like, you know what? You can eat the skin, just and the whole thing, just like you eat a seedless grape. To me, if I could have a muscadine that done that, it would be like heaven to me. So Gurney's has put these out, and um, we we ordered one. Now they were really expensive, so don't you know you can't order a bunch of them. So they were, so we only ordered one because uh, I'm not sure about it. Now if I find out that it is everything that they say that it is I will uh, maybe order me another one in the future but right now we're gonna try this one razzmatazz here now I don't know if it's green or purple or bronze or whatever I don't know that uh, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot and see how it does um, and along with that Ms. Wanda ordered some ever sweet strawberries from Gurney's uh, we like strawberries. Uh, we about lost our old variety. We still got a few of them left, but we decided to go back and make us a strawberry bed again just because we love strawberries. And we've got the freeze dryer now, so we thought about what better way to keep them than freeze drying them. Okay, guys, we open this baby up, and there it is. Pretty little razzmatazz. Um, kind of look here and figure out where the tape is. I don't want to cut my vine. Let me sit this thing down here before I. They got tape just wrapped all around it. And I guess rightfully so. Or they shrink wrapped it. They might have shrink wrapped this thing. I think it's shrink wrapped. Okay, here it is. We see some little buds coming out on it. So, um,. I'm going to uh, take it to the place that we have picked out to put it, and I'm going to see about sticking this baby in the ground. All right, I want that thing where I can put a lawnmower in there, so we're going to... Ooh, yeah. Right, guys. We've got the razzmatazz planted now. This is in our our new blackberry uh, garden. We decided to move over about six or seven feet from the blackberries and plant the razzmatazz here. We got room enough to run a vine, uh, an arbor in both directions, about uh, 30 feet. So that will give us plenty of room when this thing comes up. We'll train it in a Y. So, um, guys. 
we're excited now. And today I wanted to also announce the winner of the, uh, the through night flashlight that uh, we had a uh, showed the review on here a while back. And the winner is I've chosen um, Georgia Garden Girl. And Georgia Garden Girl, when you see this, uh, send me your information through an email so that I can get the flashlight mailed out to you. Um, she spoke in her story about her PTSD and how that she had to basically sleep with a lot of lights on. And when the, uh, uh, the power went out, uh, she didn't have anything really to keep the light lit room lit up. And her, her uh, PTSD was, you know, got to be pretty bad. And um, I could relate to that because I myself have it. And it can be debilitating when certain things trigger it. So I felt like that um, she was a very good candidate for it. Now, there was a lot of good stories. A lot of elderly women, uh, a lot of widow women made left some really good comments. My heart was moved by all of them. I saw the need. I wish... I wished I had one to send to all of them, you know, but uh, but I can't. And uh, we didn't want to do the randomizer because we didn't know who would actually end up with it. If it would even just go to somebody who might have plenty of money who could just buy one if they wanted to. And and thank you for the comments uh, for all the people who uh, said that they could financially afford one and that they was going to go buy one for their own personal use. Thank you for your honesty. And um, thank you for those who said, look, if you choose my name, give it to someone else. I prefer an elderly person or someone who really needs it. Thank you for those comments. Thank you for those who sent me emails. I actually got emails about it. So, so thank you for that. And um, I just, it just breaks my heart that I don't have a bunch of them to give away. But uh, it is what it is. And we've done what we felt like was best. So guys, um, thank you for participating. It, uh, it means a lot, um, and once again, Georgia Garden Girl, uh, when you see this, uh, send me your information, and, uh, you know, if she doesn't send me any information, then we'll pick another person. A little razzmatazz. We're going to see what it turns out to be, if it actually turns out to be a true seedless muscadine that I can pop in my mouth like a grape and eat it and swallowed a hole and all, no seeds, stay with us and see if this thing turns out to be what it says it is. And if it is, hey, go over to Gurney's, get you one. Because to me, that would be the ultimate thing to have is a muscadine with no seeds and you can eat the hole and all right there just like you eat a grape. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.